Oh, hello. Yes, um, I'm still looking at your book, Enjoy Life Forever. If someone's able to help, maybe not now if you have your Kingdom Hall meeting, but maybe some other time if someone's able to help, please. Yeah, I'm not able to at the, uh, the present time. Yes. Um, but we, we are busy today, but we can... If you have any questions and things, you know, we're interested to try and talk to people with a perfect look at what the Bible says. Yes, sure. I, I've been reading chapter 13, How False Religion Misrepresents God. And it says in paragraph two that for centuries, religions have meddled in politics, supported wars and caused or approved the deaths of countless numbers of people. And I'm just thinking, well, surely that would also include Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, I mean they're involved in politics and both warfare so wouldn't this comment in your book chapter 13 of enjoy life forever wouldn't that also also condemn you know the two watchtower corporations of new york and pennsylvania no i don't think so no it's not it isn't an area that um jehovah's witnesses are involved in we have organizations to organize our ministry and our, our work on the earth but they're certainly not and politically based or involved in any of the politics of the world at all. The 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 New York Corporation joined the United Nations in 1992. Um, the United Nations issued a public statement saying that you were members from 1992 until the day after a Guardian article exposing this as hypocrisy was published on the 8th of October 2001 and the Watchtower Bard and Tract Society of New York left the very next day on the 9th of October. I mean, if it's wrong to get involved in politics, why did the um, Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York join the United Nations in 1992? Your then governing body member, Lloyd Barry, signed you into membership. No, that didn't actually happen. No, there's a mistake. It's not something that... Jeff the Watchtower to... says it happens, the United Nations says it happens, and the Guardian newspaper said it happened. If this is a pack of lies... Why didn't the Watchtower sue the Guardian and the United Nations for defamation of character? I've got a letter from Paul Hoffiel, the head of the NGO section of the United Nations on UN-headed paper, saying that the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York were members of the United Nations as an NGO member from 1992 to 2001. I mean, if this is a pack of lies, why haven't they been sued? Well, because of the... As as an organization we look to christ jesus as our leader and we would we would um, follow the direction of christ jesus we don't believe to be inspired in what we say but we are making every effort to follow what the scriptures say um, and we certainly look to direction from jehovah god's holy spirit and christ jesus for our direction as an organization yeah. Why... I'm sorry, I've, I've got a very busy morning plan, yeah, sure, so sure. I'm not going to talk to you any, any more, uh, Richard. Some other, probably... some, some other time, yes. I'd like, to, I'd like you to explain why the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York gets share dividends from arms companies today through the Henrietta Emerali Trust. Maybe we could discuss that some other time. It seems that the Watchtower is involved at the highest level, the level of the shareholders and the governing body in both politics and warfare, and it, it concerns me. But yes, okay, some other time. My name is Robert. Absolutely, it's absolutely not true. It's absolutely not true. And um, but the, the IRS people, tax records. IRS the, means Inland uh, Revenue uh, Service. The American uh, government publishes tax records for the Henrietta M. Riley Trust. About half a million to three quarters of a million dollars are donated each year to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York, including share dividends, because there's a breakdown of the share div dividends from Northrop Grumman, Honeywell and Boeing, which are arms companies. I mean, do you even know what you're talking about? Have you actually studied this or are you just sort of thinking I'm a stupid person who can just sort of fob off with um, blasé comments? I thought you phoned for a friendly conversation for some information. I wasn't looking to try and get into any sort of argument and to have these things said over the phone to me. I have I have no evidence of any of it. And I've to, given you to evidence, man. Things over the phone in such a conversation like that, that wasn't how you started the conversation. Right. So I'm going to leave it there, OK? All right. You're going to get back to me or not? Oh, he's, he's, he's hung up. He ran away quickly. That was a runner, wasn't it? Another runner.